guys so welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is Buko baby Kikrao. so guys we're going to be checking out this video together titled never do it on first night of marriage hala prohibited hmm it's prohibited hmm wow why let's find out guys for the first night one of the biggest aspects of nikah is to basically consummate the marriage right because that's a desire that husband and wife have and this is the halal way of fulfilling that so there's a some people may feel that there's an urgency to do this however it is not a sunnah necessarily that on the first night that this must take place and that that's why you have to be sensitive because it's possible that you know these last few days or weeks have been very very busy for the couple mm -hmm. right of course once they are married there's going to be a lot of enthusiasm but a lot of the time people are tired or whatever the case is so all we're saying is proceed carefully relax get to know one another especially if you've done it in a halal way where you've not basically had a taste of one another beforehand because hmm. unfortunately there's a lot of cases where people get hmm. to know one another too much and they've been dating and they've done basically everything that what you're supposed to be look forward looking forward to for your day of marriage all that baraka is gone so really if it's a a couple who've been trying to be righteous and so on there's going to be an urgency there's going to be a baraka and so on uh, you want to try to break the ice right you want to try to break the ice get comfortable with one another and generally if you've done your due diligence if you found somebody who you think is compatible you've made the inquiries you've tried to understand the personality through other people and so on and you've made a bit of investment like that that then basically once the nikah has been done husband and wife become halal for one another one of the things that you should avoid is you should not be playing hard to get hmm. otherwise it could leave a lasting negative impression on the other mm. so if the husband just plays hard to get or the wife plays hard to get it's just not you're, you're halal for one another you should basically be both giving, giving it your full mm. generally the advice is women should not play hard to get and men should take it easy because generally those are the problems obviously when somebody is a rel still a relative stranger you may be a bit uncomfortable how far we can go and of course there's the natural inhibition the natural haya that somebody has you don't expect on the first day just to reveal it all as they say hmm. right there could be a natural inhibition or a rev reservation at this stage so you need to take it uh, feeling insecure and so on so start praising one another hmm. praise them ease make it easy for them make it comfortable for them these are specific sunnah recommendations for this night there's a hadith related by Imam Tabarani which says that the couple should offer two rakats of prayer together in congregation. Mm. So when you come together, whether you're going to a hotel room or your own apartment or your friend's apartment or whatever, however you want to do this the first night, you first get together, do wudu and you pray salat. Number two, then the husband is also advised to hold the wife's forelock, which is the, the hair at the front oh. and recite the following prayer. Oh. The wife can also make this dua. But because the Prophet wow. is speaking to men, he said it to her. He said, Allahumma inni asaluka khayraha. And she would say khayrahu instead, right? Wa khayra ma jabaltaha alayhi. Wa a'udhu bika min sharriha. Wa sharri ma jabaltaha alayhi. And if she's reading it, she'll just change the ha to who instead. Basically, it just means, oh Allah, I ask you for the good in her or him. And the good you have predisposed her to or him. And I seek your protection from her evil or his evil and the evil you have predisposed her or him to this should inshallah keep the shaitan away and protect you from any ill that may come about mm. number three it could be a recommendation at this point to give a special gift mm. this is when i think the marital gift should be given not mahar but a special private personal oh, gift some good. and preferably give something that they will remember forever mm. right a box of chocolates will be eaten up because the prophet said Give gifts to one another, and that will create love. And this is the person you want to create love with. So use everything that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is encouraged to create love with. Now, if, if you're already married and you didn't do this, you can still have a special nice. night and say, let's do this again, let me give you a gift. Mm. Number four, this is from the Sunnah. The husband could also offer his new bride something to drink, a nice juice or something, or anything, even water. Okay, number, f number five, this is where nobody else should be there afterwards obviously because if they decide to get intimate and make love the couple then should first recite the dua special dua which is bismillah allahumma jannibna shaitan 
وَجَنَّبِ الشَّيْطَانَ مَا رَزَقْتَنَا You should memorize this dua. It is very important because remember, this is all about the big idea of marriage, which is to produce children and the next generation. And you want to make sure you, pr you, you, you do everything right to produce the best children. Shaitan is there to cause problems right from the beginning. So what this dua means is in the name of Allah, O oh Allah, distance us from the, uh, from the Satan and distance Satan from what you gra have granted us. So we don't want our child to be affected by the Shaitan as well. Uh, now, another point to keep in mind here is that it's forbidden, forbidden anytime, not just this night, anytime to reveal the details of your sexual intimacy with your spouse to anybody. There's a, tra there's a weird custom among some people that so they pressure a person getting married like a woman or a man to reveal the de details of their first encounter and they compare it with one another. Mm, it's it's totally haram and it's wrong. wrong. This is a betrayal of your partner's trust. Uh, the, the Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith, Sahih Muslim, amongst the most evil people according to Allah on the day of judgment is a man who has sexual relations with his wife and she with him, then he spreads her secrets. Likewise, if a woman does the same for her husband. As a final advice, I just want to mention that do not, do not play jokes on one another on the first night. You don't know the other person properly enough and it could go wrong. Mm. Do not play jokes on one another on the first night. It's very, very important. But if you know your partner really well, you know that he's a jovial person. Like my type of person, I'm a very jovial person. <laughs> I'm a very jovial person. If my partner even cracks some joke, but it shouldn't be expensive though. If he cracks some joke, I will accept it. But it depends on my mood. If my mood is not really that good and you crack some joke, man, you will not even like my facial expression towards it. So it's very, very important. You need to understand your partner before you can crack joke if it's okay. Then um, he did not necessarily say that you should not do it in the first night. He's just saying that you should take it easy because you've gone through the stress of wedding up and down. So it's it's okay for you guys to skip that night if you are so tired because you need to be prepared mentally, physically for the big day for the big night for the first night to get so generally people believe that if you don't do it the first night it cannot be special because that's the first night of your wedding so so at the same time people will say that oh the couple should have should try and rest more then before that night is over they can do it but it depends on the couple so it's just saying that you guys don't necessarily need to do it that first night because of the stress and another thing i also got from the video is the gifts oh my god i think i love that part i cannot wait <laughs> i cannot wait i hope he's listening <laughs> don't mind me guys that gift giving gifts to one another on the first night wow that to make you f like the person feels so special and the person will remember that night forever even years to come 50 years to come whenever you guys are doing anniversary anniversary that night will pop up or that at that person's mind and the person will cherish that gift may i believe you should apart from chocolates that ladies like you can get us something really nice maybe an ant bag bag you can get your man maybe a shirt or suit or something lovely you get that he can last he can keep for years and you guys can remember even in your old age you guys can show it to each other and you know talk about that beautiful night you know very very important and another thing that i said i really love was the fact that i said whenever you have any sexual relationship with your partner do not tell your friends don't tell anybody how you how it was done or whatever it's wrong because you are bringing your partner down and apart from that you, you are making people you know around you know your capability they don't need to know your sexual life they don't need to know how you, it is being done it's none of their business just keep it to yourself it should be your, the secrets between you and your and your partner so this point as the basic one i got and i was like yes this is really nice I, this is a very very nice video and for people that are preparing to marry it should be nice if you, you know like someone like me too that i'm preparing to you know preparing for the journey to it to be very very nice when you want watch this video over and over and over again and you know get to understand it and know how to prepare for the 
no for that big day so thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment and i'll see you in the next one stay blessed bye